Steve and I just came from the FCC Chairman Ajit Pai's speech where he talked about the fact that 93% of Americans over the age of 12 listen, or I'm sorry, watch broadcast TV. But in our days of being mobile on our mobile devices, how are we going to watch broadcast TV if we've got an iPhone or an Android phone? How's that going to work? Luckily, Bonnie Beeman from Airwaves, I believe it is, airwaves.tv, is going to tell us about a product they're working on that might give us just that. Great, Allison. Thank you very much for asking. We've invented a TV antenna for your mobile phone called quarterback.tv. And if you go to quarterback.tv, you'll be able to see the product. Allison is showing it right here. This is a television antenna in a cell phone case with an extra battery and a hard key on the front that has a quick access to the TV and to the battery. Picks up free clear to air TV, no subscriptions, no SIM card needed. So this isn't uh, going over your cellular data plan? That's correct. It does not eat into your data plan. It is free clear to air TV with dozens of high definition digital TV channels available in your local area. So if you're in an area where you could put up an antenna on your house and get, get uh, television stations, this would work? That's exactly right. It's a television antenna. It turns your smartphone into a flat screen TV. So we were talking earlier, we actually accidentally almost met in front of the Mophie booth at CES a year ago. We saw each other there. And uh, it, it looks like a Mophie, maybe a big Mophie, not, not that much bigger than a Mophie. But you've actually got a TV antenna in there, and that, that I don't understand. It's small. How could it do that? The innovation here is that this is a patented design and we've taken the form factor and separated the antenna from the back plane of the battery. So the functioning kickstand is partial antenna, the case is also partial antenna, and we've made it very, very thin so that it's lightweight, low profile with an extra battery and a TV antenna. So you're actually able to, are you able to power the phone as well, charge the phone? That's exactly right. Wow, that is crazy. So right now this is in a, uh, you're crowdfunding this? We're crowdfunding this on quarterback.tv. If you'd like to go to quarterback.tv and crowdfund us, we'd love that. Uh, we're crowdfunding and starting the development right now, working on CAD drawings and the final FCC testing. So what, uh, what time frame are you looking for on this? We're looking to ship in the second half of 2017. And this is going to be an ATSC-1 device, which is digital TV today. Uh, Future-proof ready for ATSC-3, which is the new digital TV standard coming in the next few years. Uh, Aji Pai talked about ATSC 3.0, and I said, I know what that is, because uh, she had just told me what it was 30 seconds before that. I hadn't heard of that. Yeah, ATSC 3 is a great, amazing new technology that television broadcasters are working on. Very important that the public understand this. ATSC 3 moves digital TV into an all IP network. That means it's going to be TCP IP compliant. That means it's going to be packet-based, all digital, better audio quality, better capacity, and higher coverage all across the United States. And we're going to see that technology moving into South Korea, Mexico, and Canada. Oh, I was going to ask that because ATSC is normally a standard in the United States, right? That's right. But it's going to be in several other countries, and we're prepared for that. So. And uh, Chairman Pai said he was working to push that through by the end of the year, I believe. Uh, ATSC 3 has been two thumbs up. Uh, they're ready to go on that standard, and television broadcasters are working to move that forward very, very quickly. Oh, that's fantastic. I did like the way he said, we're going to go very quickly by FCC standards, right? That's considered very quickly, but that is fantastic. Yeah. That sounds like it's a benefit to all of us. So a question a lot of people are going to ask is, how much are you going to charge for this? So the, the price right now on our crowdfunding side is 199 and that gets you free dozens of digital TV channels over the air, fast access to it, an extra battery, a kickstand for hands-free viewing. And uh, for that, we're going to be able to manufacture that. That includes all the uh, very, very difficult TV antenna uh, construction that we're building. So this isn't a, a fly-by-night outfit. Uh, I know that because uh, you introduced me to your CTO who was from Hapog. That's right. John Casey is our CTO who is the former CTO at Hapog in upstate New York. John and I work remotely. I'm in Seattle. He's in New York. We make it work. Oh, you high-tech people. <laughs> and it's, it's, a great, uh, it's a great business. And John and I are working very, very hard to get this to market as soon as we can. And one question I've always had, is, and it has nothing to do with this product in particular, but it made me think of it is, how come there have been a FM transmitters that you could hook up to an iPod to listen to FM stations, but there's never an AM transmitter, Why is or receiver, I should say. Why is that? So AM needs an extremely long antenna, 
and it's the length of the antenna and the size of the antenna that really modifies the dimensions of a smartphone. And if you'll notice, your phone is very thin and very small, very lightweight. An AM antenna would make it very, very big. So what we're trying to do is to revitalize TV antennas to make them functional and beautiful. Now, you explained earlier that you actually do have an FM receiver built into this, or there will be, won't be enabled right off the bat, but that's something that could be coming in the future? That's right. That's on our roadmap to build an FM receiver into the device as well. It has a TV tuner in it, but it may also have an FM radio in it, which means that our antenna can pick up FM radio as well as TV. That's really astonishing. Well, this is really cool. Again, one more time, where can they go to learn more about this? Go to quarterback.tv, just like it sounds, quarterback.tv. It's a uh, TV antenna for your phone. You can help us raise some money and get this thing to market. All right, good luck to you. This sounds really fun to me. Thank you, Allison. I really appreciate the interview.